Happy Fragrant Friday. Fraghead. Hey everybody, this has been here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new... Ooh, Chicago, Illinois got it this week. Review. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Happy Fragrant Friday to you indeed. This week is special because it is a subscriber request. And not just any subscriber, but yes, Dana. So a couple years ago, I did a review in Dana's honor. I sent him the bottle, and that was Chrome Azaro. And he has requested Full Metal Jacket for Men. And of course, as soon as I hit stop on this recording... I will be sending him the bottle. So, Dana, you will receive this by July 21st. Thank you very much for reaching out and requesting this one. It was a real fun one. I'll just tell you now, it's a, it's, it's a super cheapy. This one was like, I don't know, like 12, 15 bucks. I mean, it was it was really, really cheap. Uh, I think it was on, on Fragrantica um, for, I think, it, I, I want to say even 12. It was on sale. Uh, so, and, and, and then forgive the uh, music in the background from the boisterous teenager. So this is Full Metal Jacket for Men, uh, and uh, I have a couple things to say. So far, the box looks really nice, actually. Um, and then, in it, by the way, it's got some, it's got, okay, that's cool. I was not able to find the year or the paraphernalia on this. Now, the only, my only qualms, you guys know that um, I typically have uh, issues with uh, the bottle or the box, and no one else does, but that's okay, um, because I will say you get what you pay for when it comes to the bottle, um, and, and that's really where the bad news ends, though. Um, if you notice, it's called Full Metal Jacket, right? It's Well, it'd be helpful if I showed you the front. Full Metal Jacket. Um, but notice it says Jacket for Men. So to me, that's a little annoying because it's like, is it Full Metal Jacket or is it Jacket? I'm not really sure what's going on. The other thing, too, is um, I um, there's a sticker on the bottom uh, that has, I mean, information and... I mean, you know, good good luck, good luck reading uh, that. So, uh, thumbs down when it comes to the information on the bottom of the bottle. Now, also the the cap is uh, a little cheap. It's no, notice it's got see it's got a little, but it doesn't notice. See how it doesn't really. Okay, it takes a while to get it back in place. It's kind of a canteen uh, formulation uh, f form, and then you push the button. Okay, so that's cool. But I will say, see, it's just like, see, see, it didn't make any noise. And then sometimes it does. So a little annoying there. Um, funny story too, I'll say that, um, don't worry, Dana, because it's gone. But uh, I opened, see if I can get it. Um, I opened this, I kept this in my travel bag in the bathroom. Uh, and the travel bag was open, and I went like this a couple days ago, uh, and a big spider uh, had made a home here, but it is gone. Uh, do not worry. And uh, uh, he trickled down the cabinet and went on his merry way, or her merry way. Uh, so Dana, don't worry. Uh, now the atomizer though is very good. The sprayer uh, is is quite good indeed. Uh, no issues with that. I'll give you a spray. Oh. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. And uh, so I will say, when you, you get what you pay for when it comes to the bottle. The bottle is a little, it's it's a little clunky, a little cheap. I'm not a big fan of it. Now, box is fine. Uh, and I've already talked about the name, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, I'm assuming is an homage to the um, 87, I think, film, Full Metal Jacket. Um, and then the the uh, on Amazon, I noticed that they have a kind of a, the subtitle for this is something along the lines of like, Guns and beer and you -hars. like guns and beer and you -hars. But but uh, let, let me get to the good news. Now, I will say to you that flat out, this smells great. In terms of the scent itself, there are no buts how or however. So this, this is actually a phenomenal scent. Uh, so much so that, in fact, my, my daughter was asking, she even said, like, you know, if you... If you don't send this to Dana, uh, you know, can we have it? I mean, that that tells you it's a very, very great, actually, smelling 
fragrance and 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 delivered it was much better than i thought it would be uh, especially when i kind of you know dealt with the the cheapness of the bottle the just the scent though is would be a five out of five actually it's, it's a great great scent i wasn't able to necessarily pick out uh, the notes um i would say though that it has kind of a it has kind of a designer um clearly clearly masculine maybe, maybe perhaps pepper i want to say like i want to say some there's some black pepper in there you know in terms of smell though i want to say it's got some besides the black pepper and i feel i feel like there's some fruit here um and i feel like this is i i don't know if this is the case but to me it does have a, a wink wink kind of um uh, nod to uh mont blanc uh, legend I feel like it's it's in the same vein. In other words, it's a very it's a clear, crowd pleasing, masculine fragrance. There's nothing unisex about this one. Uh, it's not an after the shower. It's a sexy fragrance. It's it's definitely to garner compliments at night. Um, it and I can't see anyone disliking this one unless they don't like fragrance. As I've said in recent reviews, actually, I'm on kind of a a run of great fragrances, um, and this is definitely one of them. So to me, this is kind of like a, a knockoff of a ver of the, like the real. Um, popular men's fragrances of the last decade or so and one that comes to mind uh, would be Mont Blanc uh, legend which is just you know outstanding so uh, it smells very 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 good this is another one you're gonna if you watch me each week I've said it recently but this is another one that it needs to be said this is another one where I can see a lot of women buying this for their man so th those that's the those are the general notes I didn't really um, go over too many of them it's hard to tease them apart other than it's just an extremely pleasant masculine uh scent so this one is going to be quite popular especially especially for at the price range you know for the middle schoolers the high schoolers the college students any anyone on a budget uh is going to love this perfect gift um, because if they don't like it you're out a 20 dollar bill who really cares uh for a full bottle of fragrance i don't see them disliking it though um so it it it's outstanding for the money actually yes it's synthetic of course it is but that's okay when you are in that price range so so i would say i was i was extremely uh, pleasantly surprised in terms of just the fragrance now the longevity projection and sillage a lot of people on amazon said that it worked well for them in terms of longevity for me though i would say it was a little light i was a little disappointed with how long it lasted or how little it lasted you know, I always want six to eight hours. This one is definitely a four to six for me. Um, so if you would really, really like your fragrance announced, um, then you would want to make sure that you spray on your clothes for this one and not just your skin. Um, that said, if you just like it for you or if you want it in, in close quarters and you're okay until somebody gets very close to you, uh, this would be a perfect uh, fragrance for you. Four to six hours longevity and then projection would be an arm's length for the first two hours. And then after that, it's really going to sit back and get close to the skin from two to about six. Sillage coming in and out of rooms, leaving a scent trail, um, walking past people in the hallways, those kinds of things um, would be about the first two to three hours. And then I think after that, it's going to settle down into something that's close to your skin, as I said, which is why this one for the event I'll just do now is clearly a nighttime fragrance. Can you wear it to the office? Gotta hope so, because I have. Um, you, you, you absolutely can wear it. It's a very pleasant uh, fragrance. Um, it's just that um, I associate it perhaps more with uh, the nighttime, and it's definitely a romantic, um, attractive, sexy scent for men. So I'm going to go evening on, on event. Yes, you can wear it during the day and wear it during the day and also at work because I know because I did. Uh, coming in and out of the temperatures, by the way, though, it did it did quite well indeed. It wasn't really affected necessarily by the weather. Um, I just wish I would have gotten a little bit more juice out of it. I'm not going to complain, though, at the price point. So proje that's projection, longevity, and sillage. That's also event. Now let's do gender. So for me, if this is feminine and this is masculine, this is unisex, I'm going to say this is way over here. This is clearly a masculine release, and I would, I would say this is not a 
to me, it's it, here's here's the the beauty of this thing. What's great about it is it's kind of a, a nice uh, marriage of the out of shower clean smell mixed with the rugged masculine smell. It's got woodsy notes in it. It does. Do they overpower the fragrance? No. So you know, it's not this kind of you know in your face. Uh, rugged masculinity, but it's also not going to be mistaken for a unisex fragrance. It's clearly a masculine release, and it's clearly made to garner compliments. So kudos to them, because they've certainly done a good job at doing that. So we're going to call it right down the pike, masculine release. In terms of people who actually have it, own it, wanted it, uh, it's their signature scent. Uh, I'm going to say this This to me would be um, a 95.5, one of the higher ones for me. I see this as 95% will be men and 5% will be women. Could a woman pull this off? Yes, because it smells It smells very nice. I, I almost feel like it's got like a grapefruit note. I can't quite figure out the fruit in it. Maybe bergamot, um, but I, I want to say grapefruit. So, but I, but I actually, in, in practice, I don't see that happening. So I'm going to say 95% will be men and 5% will be women. Now, age, age is going to be all over the map on this one because, um, because of the affordability mixed with the compliment getting fragrance overall scent. So, I mean, it's really just 12 and up. This, this is going to be a lot of kids first cologne. And this is going to be a lot of people out there at any range, uh, age range, who just don't want to spend a lot of money, but want a really nice fragrance. A lot of, a lot of Father's Day gifts, a lot of birthday gifts are going to be had uh, for this guy right here. Um, so, so age is just you know twelve on up. And there's nothing youthful about it, though. I just mean that it does have you know some some of the cheapies end up being kind of you know young men's first fragrances because that's all they can afford. That's why I say that. Uh, but I mean, uh, I'm clearly not in middle school, and I wore this all week, and I definitely felt great with it. I, I would I would keep it um, actually. It's just that um, you guys know I'm wrapping up the channel this month, and so I wanted to make sure that I give to all the people. Uh, who have supported uh, me over the years, and Dana is one of them. So, so this this is an easy, easy rating for me. The rating is going to well. Let me do season real quick. I almost forgot. This one for season would be a a nice a fall spring. I would put this at a fall spring. It's very fresh. Um, that said, though, it absolutely is one that you could just wear all year along. Year long. In fact, I see a lot of people having this that don't have other fragrances. It, they don't have a collection, and this is the only one uh, that they have. Uh, and and that's and if you're going to only have one, you could do a lot worse. So so that is the the season would I would put this as a fall spring. But as far as um, all year long, uh, you could you could you could definitely uh, wear this 365 days a year. Now, when it comes to the rating, this was an easy week. I've had a few lately where I've gone back and forth and I struggled uh, with numbers. This one is a piece of cake. This one is a rock solid three out of five. And if you uh, sprays, and if you think that that is sliding it or dissing it, um, it's actually not um, because what I'm saying is is you know five out of five is something like an absolute classic that everyone should get their hands on. Four is is a rock solid, very, very, very good. And then three, some of the three out of fives I wouldn't want in my collection and some I would. This is a three out of five, but it is one that I would have in my collection. collection. Absolutely. I, I appreciate how great it smells. I'm going to take a point off for the, I, I know they're not charging a lot. I know you get what you pay for, but I would have liked a little bit better uh, when it comes to um, see what I mean? See, see what I mean? This the the clasp is is cheap. Um, the bottom also, I'm not sure what's going on there as far as the information. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, there is some the batch code. I'm assuming is on is there listed clearly on the on the bottom. So that's good. But the bottle deserves a knock on one spray, especially with the full metal jacket. When when Dana reached out and I first looked at it, I wasn't for sh sure if this was a the same release as the box because sometimes they show the box sometimes they show the bottle so i was like is jacket for men full metal jacket uh, confusing and uh, i will take a spray off for that i will also dock a spray because it did not get me the longevity projection siage that i would have wanted um it, it will not get you an eight hour shift that said if you're out for a if romantic night out or a romantic night in 
uh, you could do much worse. It will be perfect for you because you don't want to clear out uh, a room. That said, I, I like to have an, a work shift. To me, that's kind of the cutoff, really. You should get six to eight hours out of a fragrance, um, and this one did not do that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off one, and I'm going to give this a very friendly, uh, robust, actually, uh, refreshing uh, three out of five sprays for full metal jacket for men. And I'm happy to say I'm going to be, uh, I rocked this juice all week, um, and I'm going to be spraying this on me now. So three out of five sprays for full metal jacket. A very nice surprise. A wonderful, wonderful cheapy indeed. Um, ultra cheapy, actually. If I were to remake uh, an episode on cheapies, I would include this guy at least as an honorable mention because it merits that. Smells divine, uh, and I tip my cap to them in terms of overall smell. Three out of five. Let's do it. Well, I'll do one on each wrist and one on the uh, chest. Boom. Boom. And boom. Very, very, very uh, fresh indeed. In fact, you know, there's almost, it's almost, it's not in the same vein, but it, it, it has a similar vibe to the chrome azaro that i sent him a couple years ago it's 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 not exactly identical i just mean um it's just one of those really really nice smelling fragrances that leaves a, a it, it your eyes widen when you smell it you know it, it really does leave a great um uh, impression and it has an impact at first spray and i have enjoyed wearing it all week long it's gonna be it's gonna be bounced to dana so dana make sure you enjoy and let us know what you think of it if you guys wear this have worn it let me know what you think and always remember my friends fragrance marks the celebration of today take care everybody So welcome to the bonus feature. Really, there's nothing else for me to do other than do the following. You guys know that when I have uh, reviewed Chroma Zaro in for Dana and sent him a bottle, I had to end my episode in, in a Dana-esque manner. So the bonus feature could only be one thing, which is to say, well, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>